What went on here, I wonder? Yeah, sorry about that. <clears throat> this game has a tendency to just randomly cause my graphics card driver to fail. Uh, but uh, back up and running now, so it should all be good now. Rebellion. If, you, if it uh, ended before you realized what was going on, I'm about to go find the Snidgets, which are the precursors to the golden <laughs> snitch used for Quidditch. Apparently it's that specific area of the game. Rebellion. I'm not going back there, I'm just keeping going forward. Oh word. It does not like this situation. This game is I oh look I'm already got basically almost everything running on low. And it still doesn't like switch ray tracing off. Not everything's gonna look like a potato, but whatever. Incendio. Bombarder. Can't see. Lumos. Incendio. Rebellion. Whoever built this place doesn't like to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your gran would love it here. She would. Lumos. I can't wait to tell her all about it. Incendio. It kind of seems to be behaving itself, but... Which is happy? Is YouTube happy? I don't think YouTube is happy. Okay, YouTube is up and which is also seemingly chill. Okay, let's carry on. Maybe I'm going to risk it by walking back in that zone. Rebellion. Okay. Seems to be have calmed down now. 
certain areas of this game is like horribly optimized. Incendio. Revelio. Oh, there's something up there. Do I get up there? Accio. Indonium Leviosa. Revelio. Maybe another box or something I need to get. That's not gonna help me. Obviously I'm missing something here. This isn't the dead end it seems to be, but how to get through? Revelio. Here's a cube there. Accio. You're the fire Not cube. Leviosa. Revelio. Lumos. Here's the other cube. Lumos. Oh. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. to hit those with the right spells first I climb up there and see what's up there in that chest what you have to you gotta be kidding me that they just go back incendio Oh, that's cool. But I need this box. Is it gonna disappear again when I get here? Oh my word, why? I don't see anything else that I can use here. I can't use that. Here. Revelio. 
Uh -huh. Maybe. Come on, flatten out. Well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to, but whatever, moving on. Looking stupid, but whatever. Look at this place. What are they doing here? Rebellion. Hey, you sent us. Two of you unharmed. I had hoped. Rebellion. It was too late. We're fine, but if you hadn't got here when you did, I led them here, Doran. You fought with us against your kind. I am glad to have witnessed this. I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw, Elec. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. Mm -hmm. Cool. Is it Snidget time? There, there they are. Snidget eggs? I wanted real Snidgets. 
Now, all that remains is to break the charm. You want us to... I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. Avoid a cadaver. Oh, all that. They're so hideous. I love it. Merlin, they're lovely. But what happens now? They can't care for themselves, and surely once word gets out of their reappearance. <sighs> No harm will come to them. The centaurs will see to that. You have my word. Thank you, Doran, for helping us to find them and to fight for them. It is you who deserves the merit, child. You did what the poachers would never have. Remember that. Happy ending all around. I wanted a full grown snitch. You both fought bravely today. Allow Revenge. us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Incendium. I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the snidgets. Revelio. Incendium. Rebellion. Look at those little bastards. How do you get to that chest? Revelio. Bright and sunny. Should let go of some of my beasts while I'm here.
Well, at least he looks happy. Ooh, I can take one of his horns. Freaking Phoenix go. Give me your feathers. Toad warts, delicious. Can use this to upgrade my uh, weapons a little bit weapons, my armor. Deke thinks you've made marvelous improvements here. I don't think I have any upgrades. This armor I have now is what I'm using in the final battle. Actually, anything that increases my... Um, Offense, I should increase first. I don't have any more Fupa feathers. I can stall a bit of trait on the I'll increase my ancient magic fill rate. Next one increase the damage. Because I'm going to be fighting goblins, I might as well do that one. Which from Incendio would be good. Damage of Crucio. Yes. from ancient magic yes greatly increased damage from bombarda yes okay I got all my stuff set up for maximum damage After I do th this, I am basically doing the final mission of the game. Or well, final main quest, at least. That's to kick some goblin ass.
All the fluffy boys. Meet Poppy in the Great Hall. Okay. I don't know, that was a mission I still had to do. So you're gonna give me something cool? I hope so. How many times must I tell you? We are a Chudley Cannons family. We do not support Puddlemere United. If I find one more of their mementos on your wall, you'll be on the first train home to take it down. Bloody hell. I would, I would never want to receive Just one of those letters. Just the I was hoping to see. What's up? I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the Centaurs. And I wanted to thank you. When the poachers ambushed us, I... It was nice not to face them alone. I'm always happy to put poachers in their place. You can always count on me for a fight when it comes to poachers. That makes two of us. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. You should widen your circle. Expand your network. Highwing is nice company, but perhaps it's time to add a few more friends to your circle. I am starting to see the appeal of a human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share Highwing. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Does your gran know that we found the Snidgets? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers. But she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Highwing can join us? I would, but they don't allow, hippo allow hippogriffs to fly in the... in the hall. Look at me, I'm the headmaster now. Hello, Hamora. What do we have here? A demigod. Ooh, new one thing. I'm not very fond of those, I must be honest. Keep going back to just the plain brown wood with the metal accent. Maybe it's time to change up my outfit for this final battle. I'll wear all the legendary items. Is there a legendary hat? I don't think so. Just stay like that, it's fine. No scarf.
Eh, I don't like it. Maybe I should take them on in my swimming trunks. but it's for the last main story thing. Oops, already there. Back to the map chamber it is. Cannot enter while mounted. Well, yeah. <clears throat> this is the highest room in the castle, but I can't enter it because I haven't unlocked the bloody spell. And smack into the wall. I should just be faster to teleport there. Right, let's do this. Not happy with appearance though. mask I like those gloves though. Goblin helmet. British helmet. Silk robe. Kraken cloak.
Honestly, the I I really I just like the dragon hide more than anything else, really. Now that that uh, vest and stuff looks good with this, yeah, let's go with that because it looks like a bit of body armor. I can wear a kilt. Out the mosque. That's pretty weird. I've grown so used to the mosque, I'm just going to leave it on. Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart. Are you all right? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... He was a pushover. He destroyed so many lives and he wouldn't have stopped. I'm glad I was able to put an end to him. You're right. He wouldn't have stopped. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You're you understand stupid. now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials. To ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. No, you Even must absorb the, the darkness. Even the and Learn from it. amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. Okay. Whoa. That's different. The entrance was here all along. Right, let's just save here, you know, just in case the game decides to crash on me.
We can only hope that we're not too late and that we find nothing but a repository undisturbed beyond this door. Yeah, well, how else would they have actually gotten inside there is my question, if not through the one door. I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. Oh crap. Uh, that answers that question. Let's go. Rebellion. If his loyalists are here, he cannot be far behind. You and I have faced the worst, Professor. There's the area. Must be here somewhere. We must be getting closer. Renrock will be pleased with our progress. my ultimate troll fighting technique well not that one Thousand damage. Professor, that wall, that's the way forward. Very effective. I fear you're right, Professor. There's nothing we can do but keep searching. Lumos! It's just potions everywhere. I don't need them. Listen, more goblins up ahead. An intruder! Get it. 
much luck so far. Rebellion. We're getting closer. That way. That looks interesting. Oh yeah. Back up. It's a bunch of old people. And the headmaster? The goblins have somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. Wait for that to wear off. Boom, baby. That does not look good. Or is it just kind of conveniently make a bridge? I mean, it looks like it, but it's not. Her wand looks kind of like the elder one, but it's not. Okay, so she makes the bridge. guys
Is, when it, is this when I use the spatial wand? here before Ranrock. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? Claim it for my own. I have decided to open the repository. Its power cannot lie dormant for centuries more. After everything you've seen? What about Isadora's fate? It will be my power. Isadora wasted her ability trying to save people from themselves. I will not let others dictate what I do with this... my... power. You cannot possibly mean that. You, of all wizard kind, are wholly aware of the misery and pain that that could cause. Arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. Seems you were too kind. She didn't know when to give up either. Oh shit. That's different. She's like a dragon now. A go ancient goblin dragon. Okay, he's dead. Salt's one problem. Oh crap, I don't want to die.
I go. You can't go forever. There's nowhere to hide now, right? I will claim my prize, what I deserve, the ultimate power.
our little epilogue. <coughs> professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you. Suddenly a long-standing colleague to his he peers. He did. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge. He built a reputation... charging into the unknown. Brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety. Providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. What a tosser. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. It's the other but Weasley. Perhaps it was his remarkable Isn't it? No, that's Raven Glenn and Raven Claw Dude. All be the Weasley guy would have read here. If not for Professor Fig. Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can. You must honor me, for I am most powerful now. Wisely, resourcefully, Justly and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig. And to my ascension to the throne of the world. Never imagined we'd attend a funeral for one of our professors. <sighs> Glad Weasley spoke for Fig. She honored him. He'll be well remembered. I only wish we could have done the same for Solomon Sallow. I need to go and see Anne soon. Ominous, there's something I need to tell you. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if you faced quite a fight. The rumor's true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait, what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Victor Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. You see, since Feldcroft was of interest to Ranrock, it became of interest to Rookwood as well. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw Anne, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. Oh, so cruel. Rookwood got what he deserved. Thank you for telling me. Anne and Sebastian deserve to know, and it should come from me. As we discussed, I spoke with Black. Sebastian's with the headmaster now, but perhaps there's a way to get word to him. When I find out, I'll send an owl. That the Whomping Willow? No, there's stuff living in there, it can't be. And it's not even in the grounds. Congratulations, you've completed the story of Hogwarts Legacy and reached the end of our school year. With your owl exams fast approaching, now's a good time to review your field guide process. Explo progress. Explore the world, finish any remaining relationships, storylines, side quests, and complete your field guide as you see fit. Cool.
I doubt any of this will be an upgrade. Yeah, not really. So I've unlocked the stone necklace. Oh, fancy. Hollow's last stand. Let's go kick his ass quickly then. I have news about Sebastian. Meet me in the Undercroft as soon as you can. Okay, so we're tying up a few loose ends. Nice. Ooh, an apple. Now that I'm the ultimate arsehole, I will eat all the apples. I'm only missing three of them now. Still nothing for these two, and I still have more than Gryffindor, so it should be should be fun. Talk to Professor Weasley. We'll do that last. A slight detour. I can tag that thing. Then I think I've gotten all the flu travel points. Go along the water line here. Yeah? Knock knock. Is that all the flu travel points now? Yeah, I think it is. Brilliant. Who lived here, I wonder? I shall camp again. Are you ready to finish Harlow? Yep, let's put it into this nonsense. I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie. 
and that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? Nope. I do not believe it did. Hallow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Hallow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. I'm ready. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Hallow's reign ends today. I think for this escapade I'll go... Slightly stealthy and equip my black robe of smoke. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. Keep an eye out. Hallow is lurking around here somewhere. I sense he is close. Where is he? I do not know. We should look around. That was very effective. No more. You made a great mistake. Little Natsionai in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You seem like a right arsehole. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Hmm. Where the fuck did he go? Do you really believe that you are somehow in control yet? Suck it. Tell me she's dead. That was just the the, the 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 crucio. That was just unbearable pain. It's not supposed to kill you. Okay, so she's just in a wheelchair. I don't know if that's better or worse. Revelio. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, Mother. Ding, ding. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. 
I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. What on earth possessed you to do something like that? I don't know, but what other choices cool seeing her have? transform into you were antelope in though. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my... I cannot believe that it took yeah, me Yeah, your dad did the same thing, it. idiot. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts, everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Good, I will need minions in my Thank future you empire. It is always good to see you. Who's next to talk to? Speak to Ominous. So we're wrapping up all the loose ends. Thank you for coming. Ominous, I received your owl. What's happened with Sebastian? He's been expelled and will soon face trial at the Ministry. Although Anne wanted to turn him in, I think now she's torn. I confess I know how she feels. As much as we all wanted Sebastian to face the consequences of his actions, it will never be the same without him. Just standing here in the Undercroft without Sebastian feels wrong. I never thought things would end this way. I hope we did the right thing. I hope so too. Were you able to tell Sebastian about Rookwood cursing Anne? I was. Black let me talk to Sebastian before he left. At first he wouldn't believe it. Then he realized it all made sense. Unfortunately, his anger only grew towards goblins and dark wizards. Anne was shocked too but in some sense relieved to know the truth about who was responsible. I think it brought her some peace. I'm glad to hear it. She deserves peace. <laughs> she does. Sebastian was my best friend. I can't imagine Hogwarts or anywhere without him. I know you two had grown close, that you were helping each other with more than just finding a cure for Anne. He never gave specifics, but I know it was important. He meant means a lot to us both. I hope we get the chance to tell him that one day. I know we had a bit of a rocky start, but you've proven yourself as a friend. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Another one for my army. Excellent.
I've got a, a couple of... Oh, well, I've got a bunch of side quests I can pick up at this point. <gasps> Ooh, the summoner's one. I can finish that. History of Magic Class. I haven't done that yet. But those are interesting ones I can finish up. Hello, Grace. What are you doing here? Nice to see you. Thank you again for your help at the lake. I've become quite good at Summoner's Court, and I'm waiting for my next opponent. I suppose that's you? I suppose so. Shall we begin? Hell yeah. I'm game. Well, let's see what you're made of. Oh my word, if you can park it on one of those, you get 100 points. Okay. You didn't see that. Akio. Oh, first time lucky. What a remarkable shot. Okay. Akio. She's absolutely terrible. Impressive. Okay, I'm definitely winning this. No, I don't knock it off. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Ha. I still win though. Impressive. Well, it appears I've been bested. Hell yeah. Well done. Diving, summoner's court. Seems there's nothing you can't do. There wasn't much to it. You really are insufferable. Yes, you I may am. have beaten me, but your next opponent is sure to take you down a peg, which will be a joy to see. Now oh, I need to do the history of magic. that one's going to be the fastest. Revelio. Today's lesson we will cover a truly thrilling event. Oh my word, he's, he's the terrible. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had okay, so on I just the need to stay awake. milling industry. Throughout the many goblin battles, countless wizard cloaks were lost. Actually, we do know the number. 632. 
But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to the bell tower entrance hall. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I. Uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, then, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly, some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lord Cox said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Yeah, I'm wearing some of it around my neck. Where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbald Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Curious students can find him on display here. Rebellion. All students introduce themselves. Skull of famed tailor Grimbald Weft. A skilled needlework countess with rocket during the rebellion. Okay, so you just fixed pants. Oh yes, I see you found Grimbald Weft. Yes. I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir F. Buttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing an eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal knights. This unassuming smudge is rumoured to be the location of the very first successful use of Bombarda. I suppose successful is a relative term, since whoever... Oops, I'm going too far. Spain was not won by vanquishing foes in single combat, nor by slaying bloodthirsty dragons. Rather in training Sir yards, Ashton, this rebellion. is a centuries old likeness of Pangadon. Warm and Fearless mouse hunter and devoted study companion. Waving knight. Instead of armor belonged to Sir Afpuddle, the cheerful counten countenance. Legendary friendly knight who supposedly won every battle before it was fought by virtue of his amiable negotiating tactics. Some attribute the success to an overly potent cheering charm cast upon himself. Grim wave. Abandoning class to wander the halls is in keeping with Professor Binns's manner of teaching. Professor Binns, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. 
Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. Mm, history does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. Okay, magic class done. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least, I like to say that. Looks like we've all gone and another one of Finch's wild goose chases. How can we do so much and accomplish so little? Huh. See if there's another interesting one I can quickly take care of. Rock stones. Puff skin problem, okay. Take on that one. Roll control. Looks like I'm finally helping her out. Might some kind soul help me? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Then I've been ignoring you this whole time. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone... Perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Okay. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. This feels like a bit of an Easter egg hunt. Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. There's six of them. 
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Okay, so this isn't as tedious as I thought it was going to be. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Okay, so this is in the actual tower. Okay, let's see if I can find any more outside. Be a couple over here. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Okay, so there's all of them are internal. That was the only one of us actually outside. I didn't see how she would have struggled to get those, but whatever. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. One of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, it's one of Zenobia's gods. This is actually super easy. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Just one more gobstone. I've always said that Akio has the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see. Oh. Thought that was up here. had more luck than I did tracking down my... Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? I followed Common the map sense markers. And basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Yeah, I don't need them. Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Mm, terrible That's idea. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. 
Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. I tried to warn you. Ooh, that's a nice... That's a nice one. It's very purple, though. Oh my word, that's so purple. Well, I need to speak to the professor. And I think that kind of... Kind of ends the game. Revelio. Think it's me. Rebellion. What you'd want to know. Lumos. That's a Patronus. Not sure he's in at the present moment, the headmaster. We'll be sure to tell him how very much you despise him. Revelio. What you did in Cross Wands was fantastic. Your dueling skills are quite advanced. Yep. Kitty cat. I mean, why didn't I just teleport here? It's the question, isn't it? Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on, and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs. Oh, yeah. And I don't even want to know the truth behind the rumors that you visited Azkaban. Oh, yeah. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. There have evidently been snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students are behind it. That's me. I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. I'm not... It's not 100%. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. 
Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Okay, that's uh... Clearly she's upset that I didn't finish everything. The house cup. Go to the great hall. Oh yeah, I've got a talent point. One. What am I gonna use it on? Eh, I'll decide later. What do you want? Hello, Adelaide. I received your owl. Thank you for coming. You see... My uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Uh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank yeah, well, I'm you. not going to do it right now. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. I don't really care about that right now. I hope Adelaide's Uncle Roland is alright. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. I wish I could kill Peeves. Again, he's technically a ghost. Do you have a moment? Yeah, Mr. Weasley. What do you got? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. <laughs> you and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbees is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on Potion's class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. 
You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the Ooh, castle. this is the past passage where they're using the Harry Potter movies. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. Books and the it's movies. the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden the behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Yeah, I'm still streaming. I just, I finished the I'll epic to final battle. Billy Wigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. And I've, I think I'm I think I'm doing. This is the last mission of the main mission is the house cup. So now I'm I'm just looking for a bunch of interesting things I can kind of take care of before I do that. It's actually very. So a one -eyed what I'm looking for now too hard to find. is a secret tunnel between Hogwarts and and the village. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Here we go. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? Secret passage. A lift. Must be how I get down. A bit broken. Repair room. Isn't magic convenient? That seems to have done the trick. If you get this a chance, will never cease to rewind me. like an hour back, I think it is more or less when I started doing the main quest. There's some pretty intense combat there. Might be fun to watch. But enjoy Icarus. Spiders again. Damn it. Uh, incendiary. Revelio. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? Akio, Guardian Leviosa. Um. I don't get if I it. could lift this platform, I think I could get it to work. Akio! Guardian Leviosa! Okay, I don't see how that's gonna help me, but let's carry on. Does this just go back? Yeah. I don't get what I'm supposed to do with this.
Maybe it's like a combination thing. Akio, the guardian of the Opsa. Arrest the limits. Problem solved. Rebellion. Going to have to get past this. Akio. Oh shit. I'm in the water. Rebellion. Can I not just jump it? Apparently not. Leviosa. Oh. What, how the frick am I supposed to do this then? Rebellion. Okay, here's something. Not that I think this helped me at all. Not doing it. Fudge. Arrest the moment. Wingardium Leviosa. Bombarda. Akio. Blow it up. Maybe... Repair it. Okay, but that didn't do anything. Not really. Bombarda. It's like it's not targeting it properly. Something here doesn't make sense. Yeah, I need to stand on top of this and 
some cost. What madness is this? Accio. You're fucking with me, right? Oh my word, I feel like such an idiot. Incendio. Bit of a chain reaction there. I don't know where to go, and I'll make it across. Arrest the momentum. Let me answer. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Accio. Repair it. Maybe now I will try. This. Or maybe I need to pull this. Okay, there we go. Arrest the momentum. Let me open. Got it. You dirty. That was uh, a bit frustrating. This must be the way out. I need to find a way to open that gate. Rebellion. Incendio. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey dukes. I made it. New quest.
Revelio. Honeydukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? And in the meantime, I will steal absolutely everything in this place. I have the dried billywig stings. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. I think I'll just uh, teleport to him. Off on another adventure, are we? Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. A Quidditch board? Okay. I see. The fuck's going on here? Um. Okay, new area apparently. Whoa. Okay, cool. I don't know why this happened, but it's bigger now. Um... Right. Anything else want to change size before I interact with it? No? Okay, cool. At least it's all kind of back to looking the same. I'll have to redesign that at some point. All 
Alright, let's go do the house cup. Which might be the end of this series of streams on this game for me. We'll see. That just looks uncomfortable. Save right here, just in case it kicks me out of the game after I do this. Okie dokie, let's see what happens. I hope I win the house cup, I did a lot of crap. Oh, look, he's cheating. A unicorn! It's the teleporting dodo. Ooh, a boggart. I hope it's a boggart. Yep. It turns into what you fear the most. And now it's a kitty cat. What does he fear the most? Oh, we don't see. Apparently that was all happening in my head. This year we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. And now we can finish. Nobody cares what you have to say. Oh yeah. The wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw. Hey, hey. And the ambition of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's House Cup. Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts. Not to mention the level to which they have excelled. She's gonna pull a Dumbledore. Watch this. As a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits. Hmm, I'd say. 100 points to their house. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner. Uh, to be fair, I'm not the winner. The house of Hufflepuff is.
Okay, look at that. That was, I must say, the best Harry Potter game I ever played. Hands down. It's got its faults technically, but in terms of like the atmosphere capturing that Harry Potter vibe, 100% got it, got it down. See if there's anything here. This is just like an in-game state now where I can just finish whatever. Suppose there won't be any more main missions. It's kind of whatever. I think that's kind of the end of everything now. Oh, and they've also left the building. They're just like, okay, we're done. Bye. They're not even hack sticking around. They're just gone. Well, on that fantastic note, I want to say thank you to everybody who watched these streams. Um, and I suppose now I'll have to find something else I will need to play constantly. Maybe I'll pick up Atomic Heart again. Maybe I'll do something, a bit of something else. Um, other than that, check out some of my older content. Uh, I appreciate everybody who's uh, following me on Twitch and YouTube now. Um, hopefully everybody else that sees this can go and check out some of my YouTube stuff. I've been uploading some shorts, some guides up there, specifically about Diablo four because i did play a lot of the beta so check those streams out as well and yeah stay safe out there and i will see everybody tomorrow maybe we don't know i don't know we'll see thank you <laughs>